So next week I'm gonna try and do a video where I look back at my old portfolios because I thought that would be really fun. So I'm gonna find the portfolio that I applied for my university degree in. I was just gonna say foundation but I don't have that anymore because that turned into my degree portfolio. So I'm gonna find my portfolio because I haven't actually touched it since and I'm gonna look through, so that was four years ago now that I used to get in and that portfolio is basically full of all the work I did on my foundation course so I thought I would kind of touch on my foundation because I don't know if other countries have it but in England it's quite common I'd say about 90% of the people on my degree had done a foundation before the degree so I was gonna wait to do that video but then I found this sitting on my shelf and I just completely didn't see it didn't know it was here didn't actually know it still existed thought it might have been in the bin but no, it survived. And this is my sketchbook that I made at the very end of my foundation course. So we had a project where we went to, uh, we went to Amsterdam. You basically just made a sketchbook for you. Like there was no grade re requirements. That's the cool thing about a foundation. It's not so much, um, you do get a grade, but it's not as important. It's more about developing your own work and learning how to work creatively. So, yeah but we made these sketchbooks those were the first sketchbooks i ever like physically made and i thought it'd be really cool to look back on it because i've kind of forgotten what's in here and also i kind of want to make one of these again so i was like maybe because i can make them a lot neater now the ones i did make some at uni i made them better than this <laughs> this is messy but i love it because of that but i was like maybe i'll do a video looking at this we'll see what's inside it and then in a few weeks i'll make another video on how to actually make your own sketchbook because it's really fun and it's a lot I feel there's a lot less pressure when you've made something yourself to like draw into it whereas when I buy a really expensive sketchbook like when I buy like a moleskin sketchbook I'm like really hesitant to use it so it's never as like I feel like I don't get as much from it when I buy a really nice sketchbook and when I have like a messy one that I've made myself I'm a lot more um I feel a lot more able to make it how I want it so yeah let's have a little look at this and see what's in here Let's go. So this is the sketchbook that I made. You can kind of see that it's very messy. Um, it was the first time I ever made a sketchbook. They didn't actually teach us how to make it this way, so I learned it off YouTube. Didn't have a paper cutter or anything, so yeah, pretty messy. And then I just got some wood, is it? I can't even tell. Um, just to stick on the sides. Mind the hospital letter that I conveniently found just because my phone number and address is on the front page and I didn't think it was very sensible to show that so yeah but basically the project was to make a sketchbook and that's pretty much it. So we were going to Amsterdam if you didn't go on the trip you still had to make a sketchbook but it was a lot more fun when you were going somewhere so I made mine as a travel journal and I remember that so I wanted to just be very open with it like the good thing about a foundation is it's not it's graded but the grade isn't so important and you're constantly stressed that point so the first one is I think I was still in London went to this weird museum saw some dead animals don't like those kind of museums they make me a bit sad but here's the first bits from Amsterdam so the way I did the sketchbook was not in like chronological order because it's all made of different types of paper I just chose the different page that I wanted for each one so this is just some photographs I stuck at the front of my trip um, which are quite sweet little photos actually so the first page you can see is this one um, I'm not sure what any of these actually mean that's the kind of the fun of this book this was fun though this is the first time I used marker pens kind of spot out Amsterdam I did a little what to bring page so I used it as like I was keeping this with me all the time so I used it as like a list making book as well which I really enjoyed doing and this was also fun so that's just a napkin so I always bought glue and my pencil case with me so I could just constantly stick things in as I was traveling around this was the hostel we stayed at if you've ever stayed at the Hansbrinker please let me know oh it's so painfully bad but brilliant at the same time and it probably was the most fun place I've ever stayed because of that I think this is the map yes it is the map so that's just what I kind of circled things I wanted to see and by sticking it in the book it meant it stayed with me this was my ticket for the metro and some doodles I did while I was on the train I was fascinated by this train I've never I'd never been on this before in fact I had never been abroad on my own well with friends and a course I guess it, it was with a course but we were pretty much left to our, on our own so it's my first time 
this was our my room which i kind of drew the little plan of and i listed who was in my room which was my friends it was very fun some badly drawn people <laughs> this is in a museum i remember drawing that hand not quite sure why it's there to be honest i'm not actually sure why anything is in this book but i kind of love it because it's so messy and bad but fun and i just enjoyed making it and i can remember my trip when looking back at this yeah, the main thing I realised is I remember my trip so well from this. I remember that museum, I remember vaguely that exhibition. That's creepy, not sure why I drew that, maybe it was something to do with the exhibition. But I just remember the trip through this, I like that. And I love that Pepsi, it was extra caffeine, super bad for you, but definitely kept me awake. Um, and this was a place called Bagels and Beans. I've actually been, I've been to Amsterdam four times since this trip, and I've also been to Rotterdam, and I've eaten there every single time, it's so good, I love it. They do great hot chocolate. And not sure what these are. Little cameras. I love signs, so everywhere I go I always do all the signs. So that's kind of stayed with me. Um, we went to a film festival. We didn't have to go in, but we went to the building. So I think that might have been about that. Another sign. Yeah, I'm always fascinated. The Whenever I go abroad, the one thing I always notice is the different signs. I noticed that in New York as well, and I loved it. Maybe I should do a project on signs. I think this is... Where's that? everything I went or places I wanted to go I think or maybe street names I'm not sure this was the um, napkin for bagels and beans I think I stuck in oh I kind of like that actually I think that was something I saw in a museum and I drew but it's quite cool I think that's probably the favorite thing I've seen in this book so far and it was just masking tape I love having texture and that's the one thing I think none of this looks like my work now but I do like the sketchy effect this was fun this is another napkin. I actually remember eating at that pizza place as well. I don't think I like that place that much, but the napkin looks nice. Nice brown paper. <laughs> um, I kind of like that it still has the pizza logo on it, actually. Kind of adds to it. But I just love texture. Like I was saying, I think that's the only thing that stayed with me. Looking at this sketchbook compared to my work now, I think my love for texture was like beginning. I went to Anne Frank's house. I, a very difficult trip. I, I, I think emotionally it's really hard to see, but it's, I would definitely recommend you go if you go to Amsterdam and you haven't been. This was the map. I think that's where we were staying and I circled like the tram line we used a lot. I love that. I love being able to look back and remember this trip because it was so much fun. I'd love to do it with those same people again. It was so good. Um, what's this? Everything I ate, classic me. I listed all the food that I ate in Amsterdam. But, and as you can see, it's not that interesting. <laughs> Grace Kelly, I, was it that what it said? I think that's the exhibition I went to. I like this circle thing even though I didn't really use it very well. I could have used that for patterns, but no. I used it for lists. I do love writing in my sketchbook. That's why I like quite messy sketchbooks. I like to be able to write stuff down in them. More signs. Yeah, you know what? I'm definitely going to do a project on signs. After seeing the sketchbook, it's reminded me of my love of them. This was a little map of the journey we did most days. And we rented a bike, of course. It's Amsterdam. And again, it's on masking tape. I kind of like the texture. It just makes a boring sketch look a lot more fun. And this was the beginning of what I did for this project in the end. The houses. It was the architecture and the signs that really stood out to me. So that was what I was really focusing on. And then those sketches I put into a photocopier. And I did, like I think, positive and negatives. Can't remember. But we did a lot of this in my foundation course. It was quite fun. It was just using different things to make artwork and to change the look of your sketch and your drawings. Which I, yeah. And it was free as well to do the photocopying. So it was used by a lot of people. I like this though because I kind of thought that it could be a bit of like a day and night scene. Like using the colours to make different light and different scenes. I kind of do remember my thought process which is fascinating because it was so long ago now. I miss, I miss this time. It was really easy. <laughs> Here are my more road signs. This was London, I think, because obviously we came back to Amsterdam, to London, and I live just outside London, so I'm there all the time. But I still find the signs fascinating. What was this? Hotel Duke. That's, is that a shop? I think that was a shop that we had visited, which was really, really, I think it was like an interior design place. Can't remember exactly, but I think that was it. And if it was, it was very, very fun. Um, unaffordable though for me. <laughs> um, chandelier, more stuff. Went to a museum on death. Didn't like it. Very creepy. It scares me. <laughs> um, another map. I think that was where we were staying. This was me trying to come up with ideas for the project. When I do my next video, I'll show you that more. This was the sketch. That was the um, the drawing I did, which I scanned in, which made those day and night images I just showed you. See, I told you the sketchbook isn't in order, but. I still do that today. I'm never good at making things in order. I feel like there's a lot more pressure when you have to do each page, so just putting it somewhere in the book is fun. 
some more scans yeah I did my project based on maps my final project and I'll show you that in the video where I show my portfolio because they're in there these massive a1 maps and I did like drawings onto them I just I remember really enjoying that so I'm looking forward to digging out that portfolio yeah 2013 oh my goodness and it's what 2019 that's so strange so I didn't actually finish the book but you can kind of see there the different types of paper I used I used graph paper I used masking tape different things to make textures this is fun I really I really like looking back at the sketchbook it's reminded me a lot it's allowed me to really reminisce over this trip even though it was so long ago I remember it like it was yesterday scary how quick the years go okay back to me okay thank you so much for watching I know this was just like a quick little fun video but I really wanted to look inside this book and thought it'd be fun to film it I know it's quite messy and unfinished and kind of more of like a scrapbook I guess rather than a sketchbook but I kind of like that it's fun to look through and I'm really looking forward to seeing my old portfolio because I remember being kind of a little bit proud but also very worried that it wasn't good enough when I was going to interviews so it would be cool to like look back on it now and see what kind of work I had in there I think I had a lot of like hyper realistic pencil drawings and things which I don't know, weren't maybe that appropriate for my course, but I also had some photography, yeah, and life drawing, yeah, it'll be cool, it'll be fun to look through, I'm looking forward to that. So next week, if I can find it, hopefully I will be able to, I will look back at my old portfolio. There's nothing more to say, but thank you so so much for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye!